Bryce, Bryce Bond, your MI40 Top Gun for 2014 here. I want to give you guys a little bit of a tip here on uh, a movement you guys can do for your back, okay? This movement is going to be just a basic single arm row. Uh, for me, single arm rows is kind of a love-hate relationship. I have. Some days I like to do them, some days I don't like to do them, but I am a huge advocate of using them because they obviously give you all kinds of back development. They'll help you with growth, they'll help you with width, and they'll help you with girth. So they give you all the essentials for a nice back. But one thing I want to point out is you guys have to be constantly varying the way you do your single arm rows. That will really exponentially heighten how fast your back develops. And this is one thing that I like to do on mine. It's just a basic banded single arm row. Um, all it's going to do is it's really going to load the shortening or, or concentric part of the movement. It's going to make getting into the top and getting my scapular and shoulder blade rejected. It's going to make that part harder. And that's all I'm looking for. So my biggest advice on this is to slow down, feel the band, and pick a weight that's light enough to where you can be sure you get full range of motion up at the top. If you're picking a weight you're only, where you're only getting half the range of motion in the bottom part, the band isn't doing its job. It's actually, it's actually ruining the movement for you. So pick a light weight, and if you have to add weight progressively through your sets to make it heavy enough for you with that band, then do it that way, but don't start too heavy. So I want to give you a visual representation so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, and give it a try and see if it works for you, okay? So all I do is I've got a red mini band here. And you guys can get these bands from Elite FTS. I've got mine out of the Mountain Dog Packet that John Meadows has on there. And I have the band, it's just literally wrapped around the dumbbell, just one time, it's just looped around it. And I'm gonna take my foot, my left foot, and just put it through the other side of the band, okay? So I'm going left foot and left arm. So same foot and same arm. And I take that band and I center it, and I literally just wrap my fingers, like a Vulcan symbol, guys, okay, around that dumbbell. Okay, other than that, the basic mechanics of your single arm dumbbell, stay true on this. I can already feel tension, it's already pulling my dumbbell down. I take that dumbbell out about five degrees from my body and I hold it there, and I've already got in 10. And now I'm just keeping that rope back in my hips, retracting as hard as I can, squeezing, and holding that for a one to two count to really feel that concentric contraction since that's my focus. And smooth down, once I lose tension, I got that shoulder protract, that's it. And repeat, one, two, release. Protract, retract, squeeze, one, two, release. And that's pretty much it, fellas. So, same fundamentals in your single arm row apply here. Make sure you're putting a lot of downward tension through your feet. Try to stay away from tilting your hips too much, keep them square. And the first movement is shoulder retraction on the way up and protract the way down and get a full stretch. Other than that, high intensity in the sets, give it a try. See what that band does for you for your lap development. Thanks, guys. Check it out.